Good evening, people. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? How was your day, guys? Did you work today? Did you work? Did you study? What did you do? <laughs> I went out with my best friend. Very nice. Where did you go? To the park here in Chalatenango. So you're from Chalatenango. Which city? Eh, Santa Rita. Santa Rita. Okay. Well, I lived in Chalatenango some years ago. It's it's a place that I like a lot. Really? Yes, and I have some friends over there in Nombre de Jesús. And I have other friends in eh, Concepción, Cosaltepeque. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in the center of Chalatenango City. Also. <laughs> yeah. Here is great. Yeah. It's, but it's really hot. Yeah. Nombre de Jesús en Concepción Casantepeque is really hot too. Here where I live is really hot. <laughs> okay. Very different from La Palma or Sicala, right? I would like to have a night in La Palma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, people, thanks for coming. I see more people connected. And well, I'm going to share the screen and you will see the activities I have prepared for this class, this evening class. It's the class number eight. And today the topic is ordering in the restaurant, the wrong place. Yay. So yeah, people, you will be the protagonist of the class. Lesson A, objective. In this session, a conversation will be played with a waiter and a customer use model words such as would and will for requests. In this case, you will be the waiters and you will be the customer. We have some activities recording previous knowledge, the role plays, ordering in a restaurant. Then we have writing about food and wrap up. So I hope that we can have time for activity number three, writing about food. But before that, before we start, we need to take attendance. So please say press and or here when I mention your name. Ana Marisol Zamora. Present teacher. <laughs> Ana Patricia Garcia de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Benjamin Alejandro. From Santa Rita. I'm here. <laughs> Brenda Adriana Mendes Mendes. Brenda Adriana. Brenda Isabel Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Brian Steve. Present. Okay, thank you, Brian. Claudia Isen López. Ok. Claudia Isen. Daniela Magalia Asensio. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Arelí López Campos. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Elisa. Elsie Patricia de Jesús Martín. Present teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Eh, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Griselda Lizel Moreno de Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Griselda. Jacqueline Liliana Enriquez Cruz. I am here. Thank you, Jacqueline. Eh, Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina, 
Jocelyn Natalia Mancilla Zamora. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara Lopez Rivera. I'm here. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yasmin Nuila. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Melissa Colocho Santos. Oh, ah, okay, she's listener. Edgar. Okay, Edgar Fernando. And Carla Colocho Santos. Give me a moment, guys. Okay, let's see. The next person is Leslie Natalie Orellana. Present. Leslie, Lucía Elena Cepeda de Herrera. Lucía Elena. She's not connected. Eh, Margarita Abigail Tobías de García. Present teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada. Martín. Mayri Yamilia de Albarenga. Present, Miss. Mayri. Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Roberto Carlos Cuellar. Hi, teacher. Present. Okay, very nice. Good evening. Roberto Eduardo. We cannot listen, Roberto. We don't listen. You should check it. Try now. Speak, please. Yeah, we cannot hear you. Mm -hmm. But I know you are here. Uh, Selma y Amelia Peña. I'm here. And Vicky Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Okay. okay. Thank you, people, for connecting on time. Excellent. Okay, so now yes, we can continue with the rest of the presentation. Over here, you can see some adjectives that we use when describing food. For example, to describe how a meal is, uh, you can say that the hamburger, for example, was delicious or tasty, yummy, disgusting. Then that is negative, right? You didn't like it. Or awful, horrible, okay? So those are adjectives for describing meal. If you want to describe the taste, the taste of the food, you can say that was savory or salty or sweet or sour, like the lemon. Lemons are sour. Or bitter, like pacayas. Do you like pacayas? Pacayas are bitter. Yes, I like. I no. Like. Or beers. Beers no, are like bitter. I don't like. You don't like pacayas? I like pacayas. I don't like pacayas. Stop pacayas. I like. <laughs> okay. Or you can say that something was hot or cold. Peppery. Spicy, fresh, rich, or strong, or tasteless, sin sabor, tasteless, right? Okay, if you want to describe the texture of the texture of the food, you can say crispy. I, I think you understand this uh, word, like, for example, Kentucky chicken. Right? <laughs> yes, I like. Or you can say that something is tender, like campero chicken. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, the, the slogan for campero chicken is a tender, crunchy, no, tender, juicy, and crunchy. Right? Tierno, jugoso, y crujiente. Or you can say tough. 
right? Tough, duro, smooth, um, creamy, chewy, for example, sometimes when you eat hen or all chicken, uh, it's chewy sometimes. Okay? Chewy. Uh, chick um, yeah. Oily, fatty, or greasy, right? And to describe the smells, to describe the smells, you can say stinky, stinking, right? Like sometimes fish, <laughs> bad fish can be stinking or fragrant, like Oily. vanilla with vanilla fragrant, or smelly, a strong smell, smelly. So those are the words uh, that we can use to describe um, the food. You can have smelly like the cheese. The cheese is smelly. Fish is smelly. Tangerines are smelly too. When somebody is eating a tangerine, we can smell like that. Or the bread could be tender. The cake is sweet. The French fries or potato chips, yuca chips, plantain chips are salty. Right. And more adjectives in the next picture. In this slide, you can see how food can be. Food can be savory, which is salty food. Uh, the food can be bland, bland, right? Boring, not interesting. Could be tasty, like very savory, very pleasant in taste. Delicious. Dry, no wet. Spicy, having a lot of flavor from spice, condiment. Greasy, containing or covered with oil or fat. Like, for example, sausages can be greasy sometimes. Soggy, too soft because of the liquid, like aguanoso, soggy. Right, uh, could, the rice can be soggy if you don't cook well. <laughs> okay, a rich can be containing a large amount of cream, butter, sugar, or the like. Crunchy, crisp, firm, and making a low, a loud noise when eating. Crunch, crunch, right? That's why that word comes from there. Moist means a little wet. Fresh, that is new, perfect. Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, fresh bread. Stale means not fresh, dry, or hardened. Viejo, right? Stale, but the food. Okay, so now it's time to practice. So I'm going to share um, an activity online. You will see in a moment. And we are going to practice this adjective for describing food. Ready? Instructions. Look at the pictures, match them with an adjective. For example, we have here bitter, burnt, burnt, uh, cheesy. I love cheesy pizza and I love cheesy pupusa. Spicy, I like a spicy food because I like hot pepper. We also have fluffy, crisp, crunchy, and juicy. So you will see it here in the picture and you will tell me what it is. For example, what can you tell about the lemons? Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the chicken? Crispy. Crunchy. 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 Okay. Crunchy. Uh, what about the pizza? Cheese. Cheese. 
Okay, what can be born? And, and the potato? Yeah, the potato is born. Okay, what is spicy? And the hot, hot sauce. sauce. Hot. The hot sauce. Yes, the hot sauce. Very good. The sauce, right? The bottle of sauce. What is fluffy? Maybe the cotton candy? The cotton candy, exactly. The cotton candy and the pineapples are? Juicy. 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 Okay, so the French fries are? Crisp. Okay. Now complete the sentences using the correct adjective. Wings are usually wings, chicken wings, like buffalo wings. Spicy, juicy, or cheesy? Spicy. 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 Cheeseburgers are always spicy, cheesy, or bitter? Cheesy. Cheesy. Right, because they are cheeseburgers. Cheesy. This bread is? Fluffy, bitter, or burnt? I sense it is. Bitter. Burnt. The bread. Burnt. If you, you toast bread, <laughs> be burnt. careful because it can <clears throat> burn. It can get burned like tortillas, right? I forgot the tortillas. And then the tortilla is black. It's burnt, right? Okay. Number four. Most fruits are really... Examples of juicy fruits? Or, uh, watermelon. 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 Melon. Mm. Strawberries. Mm. Apples. 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 <laughs> Cocotes. Mangoes. Exactly. Okay. French fries are. Chris. 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 This lemon is too bitter, spicy, or fluffy. Bitter. 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 Japanese cheesecake is so. Oh, what is the Japanese cheesecake? Fluffy. 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 Yeah, it looks so fluffy. delicious. I, I want to try it. It's really fluffy. Okay, these carrots are really... Um, crunchy. 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 Very nice. We'll try to see if we are correct. Excellent people. Wow. You're so smart, that's why I love this group. This group is very smart and intelligent. Okay, so let's continue with the class. And now it's time for you. It's your time, guys. So, are you ready? Yes, I am. No. So, Benjamin, who is your partner, Benjamin? Victoria and Jocelyn. Victoria and Jocelyn, okay. So, the scenario is yours. <laughs> what? The scenario is yours. Okay, so, like, oh my goodness. camera, action. <laughs> I hate it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Vicky, you start. Okay. At Caligula's. Good, good evening. Welcome to Caligula's. Here to our menu. Good evening. Welcome to today's special. Is this bench is today's special special? I'll have a cheeseburger with onion rings, please. Oh. What kind of dressing would you oh. like for 
your annual rings? Uh, garlic cilantro dressing, please. And you, Miss, what would you like to order? Can you have a spicy shrimp and rice, please? Could you like something in your rice? Yes, please. What, what would you like to drink? I like a cold lemon tea. I'll have a Bloody Mary with sparkling water, please. Would you like anything else? Yes, um, we both would like to order a dessert. What would you like for dessert? I'll have a piece of lemon pie. I would like ordering piece of chocolate cake. Excellent. Anything else? No, that's uh, thank you. Um, waitress, would you mind bringing us something for an appetizer while we wait our food? Yes, please, sir. Excuse me. Okay. That's all, teacher. Great, great job, guys. Excellent. Congratulations, please. Everybody clap. Clap for them. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> you did it pretty well. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Benjamin, Miss. Please help. Please help. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> okay. The second group. Another group? Okay, Ana Patricia. Quitar los aplausos, quería. <risa> no, no, ya le tocó, ella sigue, ella sigue. <risa> Qué barbaridad sí, para quitar los aplausos. <risa> ok, okay. Ana. And who sí. is your partner? Or who are sí. your partners? Roberto Eduardo y Griselda Lisset. Perfect. Go ahead. Light, camera, action. Uh, teacher, uh, do you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, okay, we're gonna start right now. So, um, I'm gonna be the, the mesero. And good evening, my name is uh, Roberto Eduardo. I'm gonna take you over. Uh, so, uh, I'm ready for you. How can I help you? Good evening, Eduardo. Thank you. What can you suggest? Uh, well, uh, we have especially uh, from the house. We have a cheeseburger with uh, with onion rings and a spicy shrimp and rice too, with a salad with chicken salad sandwich. Okay. I would like cheeseburger with meat and onion rings. Oh, perfect. Uh, what what term of the meat would you like? Mm. We have medium, medium well and well down. Uh, medium well, please. Medium well, okay, perfect. Uh, would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a uh, soda, please. Uh, orange. Orange, sure. Uh, okay, so uh, what about you, Griselda? Uh, thank you, Eduardo. I want a chicken salad sandwich. Okay, uh, what would you like to drink? Yes, um, I would like to drink a coffee with milk, please. Coffee with milk, okay, perfect. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna repeat the order. First one is a hamburger with onions, with onion rings, and the term is medium, and you want soda too, for Patricia, right? Yes, thank you, it's correct. Uh, okay, for the second one, uh, you want a chicken sandwich? and a small salad and coffee with milk. Correct, yes, gracias, perdón, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll be back uh, with as soon as possible. Okay, thank that's you. it.
And that's it, teacher. Great! Congratulations, applauses, please. Congrats. Congrats. For the waiters. It's like, I mean, you can, you are ready to work in a restaurant. Because you know <laughs> all the steps, right? I mean, you know the order. <laughs> Already. <laughs> And Ana and Griselda, good job too. Okay, the next, the next Thank group, you. please. Roberto Carlos, the singer. Hi, teacher. Okay, who are your partners, Roberto? Yeah, Francisco. It's me. Francisco, okay. Yes. Very nice. Live. Camera, action. Okay. Hello, good morning. Uh, good, uh, sorry, hello, <laughs> good evening. It's a pleasure to welcome you to our restaurant. My name is Robert. Tonight I will use server, waiter. Is ready for your order? Oh, good evening, Robert. Yes, I am I ready for order. What do you like to eat tonight? Oh, this night I had hungry. Um, I don't know. Maybe I, I would like a triple burger. Okay, perfect. Would you like with cheese? Yes, I will have cheese in my burger, please. Would you like with onion, tomato, and lettuce? Yes, uh, I, I, I will have the old uh, vegetable and uh, please you are ready please uh, jalapeno paper excellent uh, french fries for you yes please okay what do you like to drink uh, i would like a diet coke with ice perfect perfect and what do you like for dessert Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, maybe I would like a rich chocolate and ice cream. Excellent. Okay. I will repeat your order, Francisco. Uh, a double burger with cheese, onion, tomato, and lettuce, french fries for to drink, and Diet Coke, and rich chocolate ice cream. Is okay your order? Yes, more than good. Would you like anything else? No, thank you, Robert, very much. Okay, enjoy, do it. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, great job, guys. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I just uh, wrote some observations in the in the chat. For example, it, this is very common if you say I have hungry, but it's I'm hungry, okay? I am hungry and I'm ready to order. Okay, but good job, guys. You did it pretty well. Thank you. I like the diet coat, the diet coat idea. <laughs> okay, next, Elsie, you rose your hand. Elsie Patricia? Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, I did it by accident too, but it's okay. Okay, Elsie. So um, let me see who's my partner. Who's your partner? You don't remember? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Miley? Yes. Hello, Miss. Uh, uh, are Elsie, Karen, and I? Ah. Uh, I am waiter and Elsie and Karen are customers. And customers. And where is Karen? Ah, Karen Xiomara. Okay. Yes, Karen Guys, Xiomara. Camera, action. Okay. Um, welcome. How can I help you? Thank you. Please, can you tell me if we have any promotion today? With pressure, today we have the special promotion, the two for one. Excellent. Can you show me the menu? 
sure the menu. <laughs> Thank you. We will um, like we, order no. the coffee. What would you like to order? We will like order the coffee with desserts promotion. Two promotions, please. Sure. How would you like coffee? We have black black coffee, latte coffee, cappuccino, or Americano coffee. I will have the light coffee, please. So will I. Perfect. Also, we have delicious dessert, like a lemon pie, lemon pie chocolate cake, cheesecake, fruit cake. What would you like to order? I order the chocolate cake. Mm, I will have the lemon pie, please. Would you like anything else? Only that. Thank you. Okay, I will bring you order in a moment. Very okay. good, girls. Mm -hmm. Only you that. Did it pretty well. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know, I love the menu. I thank you. <laughs> Can you thank show you. it again? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, yes, yes, it's, it's my menu. <laughs> is the a special skin or the tinta skin? Or skin? Uh, tinta, I don't know. Ink. 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 Algo así era. Okay, is the special ink. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Now, who's thank next? You. Next, we have Selma, Daniela, Griselda, Margarita, Elisa, Brian, Jacqueline, Martin. Ah, oh, Martin is here now. Okay, so who's next? Everybody will pass, so sooner or later. Uh -huh. Hi. Okay, Salma. Eh, mi compañera es Elisa, Arely. Okay, yes, she's here. Okay, eh, like, iniciaría. Action. <laughs> what would you like to order? I will have the sushi plate. Okay, would well, you like miso soup or vegetable? I would like I would like miso soup, please. Okay, and would you like anything to drink? To drink? I would you have a glass of soda. <laughs> okay, you would you like anything else? No, thank I'll, I'll for no thank later. Uh, 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 would you, would uh, you, do you like, pardon, would you like dessert? Yes, I would like cake, cake. What flavor would you like? Um, I all have chocolate, please. Okay, finish. <laughs> I want chocolate cake for dessert too. <laughs> okay, thank you girls. Please, aplazas for Selma and Elisa. Good, good job, guys. Okay, very good. And we continue, right? We continue with the next. Volunteers are Vicky. Volunteers are Vicky. 
Two. Okay, Daniela Magali, who's your partner, Daniela? Uh, Brian and Mitchell. Mitchell, okay. <laughs> she looks suspicious. Okay, so Mitchell and Daniela, light camera action. Good evening. I tell for two, please. A table for two, please. Yes, we have one for you. Follow me. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Maybe we can start again because we have some sounds. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like the horn of a car. Okay, please again. Okay, live camera action. Good evening. A table for two, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have one for you. Please follow me. Sure. Well, what would you like to order? I will have a cheeseburger with onion wings. Okay, would you like a uh, ranch dressing or cheese dressing with your onion ring? I would like ranch dressing. Well, uh, what would you like to drink? Excellent. Uh, would you like anything else? Uh, would you like dessert? Yes, I would love a chocolate cake. I would like lemon pie, please. Okay, uh, your order will be very soon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you girls and Brian, thank you for your participation in the class, okay? <laughs> A very serious reader, no, I'm just kidding, Brian. <laughs> okay, uh, we still have some other couples, mm -hmm. like Leslie, Martin, Brenda, Elga, Jacqueline, Karina, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready to act? People. Sorry. <laughs> that was my finger. Okay, Brenda, Edgar, Jocelyn. No, Jocelyn already participated. Leslie. Marti. Or we continue with the class. Maybe they are just interested. Okay, but uh, let me tell you that you did a perfect job. You did it pretty well. I just have one observation for everybody in the pronunciation of a dessert. Okay, there are two words in English that are very similar, and it's desert and dessert. So what is the difference? Uh, okay, as you notice here, this dessert is pronounced with a short E sound because the E is followed by two consonants. And desert will be pronounced with a long E sounds desert because it is followed by only one consonant. What is the difference? Well, one means postre and the other means Desierto. 
<laughs> I just want to, okay, maybe this one is very short. It's a very short video. Maybe you can see it. But I'm gonna, sh give me a moment because I need to share the audio. Okay. Next day, I've got two words again for you. The first one is dessert. D dessert. D dessert. So the stress is on that second syllable. The next one is desert, desert, desert. You see that the stress changes with that second one? The stress is on the first syllable. Desert, 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 desert. Pay attention to the vowels as well because they're quite different because some are stressed, some are unstressed. So of course it changes. Desert, 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 desert. Okay, so this was a very short video, that's why I played this one. But how will you then pronounce postre? Dessert. Dessert, exactly. Dessert. Would you like something for dessert? Dessert, okay? Because if not, you are saying desierto, right? Which is desert. I don't want to live in the desert, right? <laughs> oh. But I would like to eat some dessert. Okay, so dessert. Can you pronounce it, please? Dessert. 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 One more time. Dessert. 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 And the other Dessert. one is? Dessert. 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 Exactly. Dessert. <laughs> okay, so what we have here for desserts? Ice cream, chocolate cake, lemon pie, and fresh fruit salad. Okay, very good. So we have a couple of minutes to work in the next activity, which is writing about Ooh. Uh, we have here one example of that I am um, describing some food, the original pancake place. Uh, actually, it's describing the food from a, 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 specific, a specific restaurant, which is the pancake palace, place, the original pancake place. Okay, so I'm going to read for you the paragraph. I love the original pancake place on Main Street. Their famous apple pancakes are my favorite. They are delicious, but they are sweet and very fattening. The restaurant has got other items on their menu, but they aren't great. The chicken is spicy and the hamburger with chips is very oily. So go to the original pancake place, but only order the apple pancakes. The restaurant is open every day from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay, so this is one example. Let's read the second example. Uh, it's here, the bottom. It says, last Saturday, my sister and I tried Burger to Go, a new restaurant in our town. I had a classic cheese burger and fries. The burger wasn't very big, but it was delicious. The fries were hot and crispy, but a little too salty. For dessert, I had apple pie. It wasn't bad, but I had better. Mm -hmm. I would take burger to go for their burgers and their very and their very friendly service. I hope they improve with time. Emilia. Excellent. So you are going to write about a recent place you have visited. 
it says, I have some questions, guiding questions. You can uh, uh, write your paragraph guiding with these uh, guiding questions. For example, have you eaten recently? Um, sorry, sorry. Have you eaten out recently? Write a review of a restaurant, cafe, or food truck. Choose at least five questions from the list. Answer these questions and add ideas of your own. What's the name of the place? When did you go there? What time did you go? Who did you go with? What did you have to eat? What did you have to drink? Did you order dessert? What did you like about the place? What didn't you like about it? Would you recommend it? Why or why not? So in this moment, guys, do we have 10 minutes to write about your, uh, your paragraph? Okay. So please, let's, let's uh, write about it. Yes, Roberto? Do you have a question, Roberto? No. <laughs> You were taking a picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> so everybody is writing in this moment. If you have any questions, I am here. Please try to do it with your own ideas. Don't use the translator. Use the dictionary, but not the translator. Eh, quizás, eh, teacher. Yes, Roberto. Eh, quizás no, o sea, bueno, yo no le he asimilado totalmente la idea, así la, en, en, en español, en inglés, digamos, pero más así, más específico que podamos hacer, yo creo que es algo, darle respuesta de acuerdo a lo que ella, a, a la publicación de ella, ¿verdad? No, no. De acuerdo a estas preguntas. No. Una sobre a, a donde haya ido usted recientemente a comer. Ah. Aunque sea unas pupusas, yeah. pero va a escribir sobre, por ejemplo, la Sunday, el domingo pasado. Yeah. Okay. Eh, my family and I went to eat en, pupusas. En tiempo pasado. Exactly, in the past. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. hoy sí. Okay. Hoy sí, ya de, tomamos la idea, mira, sería bonito explicarlo así. <laughs> Yes, sir. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Teacher, perdón, yo no he entendido muy bien. Vamos a dar como una descripción de un lugar donde hemos ido con la familia a comer. el tiempo pasado. Yes, Okay. And you would describe how the food was, if the food was good or bad the service maybe the play okay. pero también puede ser eh, de acuerdo a las preguntas que están ahí verdad exactly the questions are a guy estas son preguntas guiadoras le pueden okay. ayudar por ejemplo y puede decir i went to la bendición pupusería eh, last saturday in the evening with my family eh, we asked for uh, 20 pupusas, five pupusas of ayote, five pupusas of cheese and beans, five pupusas of, uh, I don't know, garlic and cheese, and etc. And we asked for horchata, chocolate, and coffee to drink. We didn't order dessert because uh, this place don't have dessert, for example. Uh, I liked how the, the service because it was very fast. I liked the place because it was very clean, but I didn't like this and that, okay? So you, you can uh, write your paragraph following the questions. Like answering the questions, but in a paragraph. Maybe you can say, I didn't like the tomato sauce. You can say that he didn't like the tomato sauce because it was a little bit tasteless. However, 
de curtido or pickled salad was delicious. A little bit spicy, picante, right? A little bit spicy. I would recommend this pupuse, pupuseria la bendición to all my classmates in the course pre-intermediate three. Maybe we can go one day together. I don't know, it's just an idea. <laughs> okay. Okay, how is it going? How are you doing, guys? Are you about to finish? Did somebody finish? I think I did. Yes, I finished. Ah, great. Yes, okay, would you like to share? Who? Anyone? Roberto, I listen that you finished. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay, please share with the class your parada. Roberto, right? Roberto Carlos, 
Hola. Ay, Francisco. Ay. <ríe> ok, Roberto es de Francisco. Ok. May. Yeah. Last week I went to have um, my breakfast in Nahuizal or Market and I ate some delicious beans with cream, cream and portion of banana, eggs with chorizo. I don't know who you say chorizo. Sausage. 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 Sausage and delicious chocolate. It's recommended. It is super beautiful. Ok, now we start con Market. Yeah. Thank you, Roberto. <laughs> Thank you. Francisco. Ok, um, for working the last week, I, go to, I went to the Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. <clears throat> and this place, I went to the restaurant, the name is the, the Nueve Esquinas, Night Corner. And um, is this, this, lugar, this place is famous for the food, the typical uh, Mexican, the birria and uh, mole poblano. I recommend it. this is delicious and uh, in the place they, they have uh, the uh, chef for more than 30 years ago. Yes, the one I uh, want to mean. And in the, uh, this place is famous too because um, uh, the, the movie is El Mariachi. Uh, in this place, um, no sé, como dice, han rodado algunas escenas. Um, y, y they, they are, um, the people there, as the service is very good. I recommend it very much. Guadalajara, Jalisco. Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Yeah. Las nueve esquinas. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we will take it into account. Thank you, Francisco, for sharing. Welcome. <laughs> And what was your favorite food? The special, what is the special of the restaurant? The special. Uh, it's the birria. La birria. It's a it's soup of the cabro. I don't know in English. Okay, it's just a soup or do you eat like tacos? Like some? Uh, you can uh, take the uh, soup with tortillas uh, or you can make uh, tacos with uh, oh, nice. beef. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, sounds Sounds delicious, sounds yummy. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, I recommend it. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Any other person? Yo, me. Margarita. <laughs> okay, Margarita. <laughs> okay. And last week, my sister, my daughter, and I went to the Papas John in Aguilares because my daughter loved the pizza. <laughs> And we ate a uh, pepperoni pizza and garlic bread. And, and the pizza was delicious because it was hot and cheesy. Mm -hmm. And besides, we drank a lot of soda. And the waiter was very kind to us. I recommended that restaurant. Yeah, I love Papayan's pizza too. <laughs> and you know what? I'm getting hungry. I had already dinner, but I'm getting hungry listening to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Margarita. We have time for one more person. Can I? Uh, I think so. Okay. okay, Elsie and then Benjamin, quickly. You know we can do it in one minute. Who's first? I'm sorry. Elsie. Oh, okay. So this past weekend, I went with my best friend to this new coffee shop called um, Coffee Lover. Of course, we ordered coffee and dessert. Both of them were delicious. And the best part was the attention. They have very nice people. And I will recommend for sure this place. You will love it. Okay, LC. Thank you so much. Good job, Benjamin. Okay. Last Thursday, I went out to eat. I went to a Mexican restaurant near here. I went along because I prefer this way. <laughs> I ordered some cheesy birria tacos and also a tortilla soup. I drank a classic margarita as an appetizer. <clears throat> and then when the food was done, I ordered some micheladas. I recommend this place because the service is really good 
in the way it was really handsome <laughs> and polite. And also because the place is really comfortable. Okay, thank you, Benjamin. And where is it? Um, here in Amayo. Okay. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Thank you, everyone. I think this is a I love this topic because we have we have information to share. We have something to say. That's why I love this topic. But we don't have more time to listen to all of you. But if you want to share, you can share it as a recording or audio or as a paragraph in, in the chat. Okay, and I will, it will be a pleasure for me to listen to you or read your paradise. Okay, guys, so I hope you can have a great weekend. I hope that the baby you can have delicious food this weekend. And remember to work in the platform. It's important to advance in all the in the section. If you already finished section three, you can start working on section four. Next week, we are going to uh, learn about comparative adjectives. So if you can study the adjectives that will be great because you will have more ideas in the class okay guys have a good night see you monday bye. Bye. see you monday